What is going on guys? It's your Bobby Glone and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Today I want to talk about and discuss the first expansion that is coming on December the 5th and um, which is Curse of the Osiris if I remember correctly. So as of right now we're officially less than a month away from the DLC releasing. We're at November the 6th right now, going to be November the 7th tomorrow. You know, state the obvious obviously like I said. But <laughs> like Getting into the video anyway is preparing for the DLC, things that you might want to get before the DLC arrives. Now again, this video may not be for everyone. If you're a very dedicated Destiny player, you might already have everything that you want. You have all the weapons, the glimmer, the shards, or whatever else. You'll probably already have everything, but with that being said, there are always new players coming to the game. There is obviously, like I said, PC launch not so long ago. Um, there are you might even have a couple of things in this video that you might not even have. There might be a couple of weapons that I might recommend that you, like I said, don't have. So, without further ado, let's just get straight to it. So, the first and obvious thing is going to be hitting power cap. Trying to hit uh, power level 305 before the DLC releases. The reason why this is a good thing is because it'll be less grinding to do when the DLC drops. You're going to be at the higher level, you're going to be able to deal more damage to enemies in PvE. Just going to be an all-round smoother and easier experience. You know, the higher you can get, the easier it'll be. Less to do, okay? So that's going to be the first thing to get done and out of the way. Once you've got that done, the next things to move on to is Glimmer, Legendary Shards, and Bright Dust. So going over Glimmer first, this is the basic currency of the game. You can buy legend, uh, not legendary mods, rare mods with this. You can just you know upgrade gear. You can infuse gear with it. You can do all sorts. So hitting the glimmer cap is going to be very beneficial, um, which is 99,999. That is a lot of number nines there. So if you can try and hit glimmer cap before the DLC comes out, that's going to be very good. Next thing is legendary shards. Now legendary shards, Bungie have already said they are working on some new ways to make them more useful to spend them, you know, so you can spend them on some more things, if that makes sense. Um, so like I said, hoarding legendary shards, if you can try and get, I'd say, a thousand legendary shards, you should be more than, like, more than good. Um, I did have just short of 7,000, but unfortunately for me, I spent a lot of them on exotics out of the vault, so I can try and get an anti up, which is, again, a thing I'll get to in a second, which is trying to collect certain weapons before the new season starts. So the next thing is Bright Dust. Now this is quite, might surprise a few people, but if you can try and hold on to Bright Dust, you might actually end up putting yourself in maybe, I won't say a better position, but you might just be able to get a few more cosmetic things um, as soon as the new season starts. So every single season, if you don't know what a season is, as of right now, if you are in a clan, it's pretty easy to tell that you are in season one. When season two starts, I predict season two is gonna start when the DLC drops. Um, that's just a prediction that might not be true so do not quote me on that like I said I think that is what will happen so when a new season starts if you are in a clan all of your clan banner perks will reset and they will also change Bungie have also said that there's gonna be some different perks on the clan banners every single season which is a very nice thing to look forward to the next thing like I said is Eververse is also going to have a new stock of exotic um, spaceships, sparrows, she's gonna have some new ghosts, emotes, all that sort of stuff. Now, the thing you buy that with is bright dust, so it be makes sense to obviously just hold on to the bright dust and save it for new season. <laughs> and it's as simple as that. Also, another thing I would recommend getting as well as a couple of fire team medallions. So, when the new ECO DLC does drop, you can you know pop one of these and get some better XP, some loot, all that sort of stuff. Take a breather. Whew. Right, but anyway, getting into one of the next things is when the new season does start, there is going to be new rolls on all of the legendary weapons. If you don't know what I mean by that, is this Better Devils right now has explosive payload on it. This Better Devils, when the new season starts, this perk will change probably along with all the others as well. So trying to get this Better Devils as of right now because it's actually really good. Um, so if you can try and get this before the DLC comes out, and like I said, you're putting yourself in a very good position. The next thing I want to go over is tokens and all the other um, jazz that's in your consumable slot. 
long as you like. Basically holding on to all of your tokens and saving them for the DLC. And this is just basic Destiny stuff that we've been doing for I don't even know how long. You know, this is just general stuff that we've always done throughout Destiny. Is just hoarding onto materials and keeping them for the DLC. Even you know, we I mean we used to hoard onto engrams as well. Now, granted, you can't hoard onto engrams in this game because they drop at a certain level, and obviously you'll only get that sort of power or light level gear out of them. But hoarding onto all of this stuff is going to put you in a very better place. Um, at least in my opinion, it would do. Um, so let's hold on to all this stuff, don't turn it in, save it for the DLC, and hopefully when you turn it in, once you've done all the campaign um, within the new DLC, turn them all in and then you might get some higher level gear out of them, um, hopefully at least, that is my guess. The next thing is trying to collect certain weapons. Now I know this video has been all over the place, but this is the, <laughs> the main purpose of the video, is getting certain weapons before the DLC drops. Now. Currently, there are some very decent weapons that I'd actually recommend getting your hands on. Some of them a lot of people don't use, but I predict that maybe if certain weapons maybe get nerfed and certain weapons get buffed down the line, they may end up being very, very good. So, let's just go over the weapons I've got on my character at the moment. First one, Better Devils. Try and get this hand cannon, Crucible, very easy to get. Just turn in tokens to Zavala. No, it's not Zavala. Is it Zavala? No, it's Lord Sharks. There we go. I can't believe I actually got those characters mixed up. Wow. But yeah, turn your tokens into Lord Sharks to get the better devils and you should maybe end up getting one. The Origin Story and the Nameless Midnight, you can get these from Zavala. <laughs> I almost said Sharks there. Um, Anti Up D, this is a submachine gun that you get from the Gunsmith. Very, very good as of right now as well. Old Fashioned. Um, I can't remember exactly how you get this one. I think it's just a general drop just from turning in you know, Packages and all that sort of stuff the man in an SR4 I'm pretty sure you can get this from the gunsmith as well a very good PVE scout rifle Ariel's gift can be got from the gunsmith as well very very good in both PVE and PvP Last hope I mean what else to say other than this thing is just an absolute melting machine very good sidearm indeed annual skate another really good hand cannon because it's got outlaw on it Moving on to power weapons, we've got the Curtain Call Rocket Launcher, Hawthorne's Field Forge Shotgun, the Long Walk Trials of the Nine Sniper, we've got a Gravity Slingshot Dead Orbit Shotgun, and the Main Ingredient Fusion Rifle. Uh, if we go into my vault here real quick, um, I don't have a lot in here because, like I said, um, there's not a lot of good weapons in the game, but there are a few that, you, like I said, you may want to collect. The Nightshade Pulse Rifle, you can also get this from Zavala from turning in Vanguard Tokens. And the scaf lock or a rifle this is also very very good a lincoln green now a lot of people don't like this but i actually don't mind it um, if you use a few kinetic recall mods on it's not too bad and hopefully i think pulse rifles may end up getting a little bit of a buff down the line because right now obviously they're not really in a too much of a good spot so hopefully if pulse rifles get a buff this may end up being very good the last perdition this is a weapon I've not really seen too many people talk about, but it does have Rampage on it, which is the basically, if you use, I've forgotten the name of the auto rifle now, the Origin Story Rampage that has that on it as well. Basically getting a kill will increase your damage, stacks up to three times, very good for stuff like PvE. Can also benefit you in PvP as well. We've got the number, this is a Future War Cult AR with Glass Half Full on it. Tone Patrol, a natural, very decent uh, scout rifle for both PvE and PvP. It's got high caliber rounds on it and Dragonfly, which is not too bad. Um, although I do think Dragonfly could do with a bit of a buff. The Nurgle, a very good pulse rifle, solid all around. Again, if pulse rifle isn't getting a bit of a buff, this will be even better than what it currently is. We got, I don't even know how to pronounce that, a Cadenza 43. Um, pretty uh, solid pulse rifle, it's got high caliber rounds and outlaw on it. The reason I'm keeping this again is because if pulse rifles aren't getting a buff, I'll probably use this in Crucible. Uh, going on to a few other weapons, uh, Marty's make, again another really good auto rifle with glass half full on it as well. We've got the Galliard 42, also another auto rifle with Rampage on it. We've got a choice of ricochet rounds and steady rounds on here as well, which isn't too bad. But the main pet being uh, Rampage. So if you like the origin story, 
you know you might want to try and get your hands on it and the last one the pentatonic 48 rocket launcher um, basically it's got kill clip on so reloading after a kill grants increased damage uh, very good in pve so like i said trying to hold on to a few key weapons that may you know be very decent down the line if certain things get buffed or nerfed but that's pretty much it for the video i just wanted to sort of give you guys a little you know update as to my thoughts on trying to prepare for things and um, hopefully like i said you might already have everything anyway if you don't get hunting it down and uh yeah that's pretty much it for the video guys hopefully you enjoyed catch you in the next one peace